Dark Arts of Trans, I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. We would love it if you would subscribe down below. We do a lot of get ready with me's, um, beauty reviews, monthly favorites, some book content, and we have a background in product development. So we kind of like review everything through that lens. Today we are doing a get ready with us. We love doing these videos. We haven't done one in a while. Yeah. And we just sort of like get ready, chit chat, all the things. So let's get into it. So I feel like we're probably going to be chatting a lot, like catching up. So if we don't talk about what we're using, of course we'll link everything down below. Mm -hmm. So since we got back from Wisconsin, I feel like my skin has been trying to readjust. Like it's way more humid there than it is mm -hmm. in California if we're unfamiliar. And so I feel like my skin feels really hydrated. So I'm not going to go in with any primer. Um, I'm just going to go in with my Tarte CC corrector and then the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Skin Tint for foundation. I'm using the same CC corrector and the Neutrogena. But I am going to, we were sent um, some things from Beauty Pie, just a lovely package. And they, we tried this a while back, but they resent it to us. It's the Wonder Filter Brightening Primer. We liked it as a highlighter. Yeah, so I'm going to put it just on my cheekbones under foundation. Um, it kind of has like a pink hue, like an iridescent. I think they have like a bronze one too. Um, but I'm just going to put it only like where I would put highlighter because it is quite glowy and I don't want that like everywhere. Since we haven't been even on like Instagram stories, which we try to be on stories every day, and even yesterday I was like, oh, like too much to catch up on to even pop on. We'll probably pop on there today. Yeah. Um, but we just really wanted to catch up on our trip back to Wisconsin. So if you guys didn't know, we are from Wisconsin, Green Bay, born and raised. We moved to California when we were 18, so we've been in California for 14, 14 years, years, just about. Like we moved here the end of July, right? Um, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so almost exactly 14 years ago, which is insane. Mm -hmm. um, so California definitely feels like home, but it's always nice to go back to like see friends and family, although two vastly different places if you've ever been yeah. to Wisconsin and California, you know. Um, so we went for a week because as you know, we're self-employed these days. So we took the time, um, mainly to go like spend time with our mom. She moved last summer, so she's been in her place for like a year now, almost a year. Um, and so we got to see it all decorated and everything. Um, and to see our puppy brother. Yeah, our mom has the cutest dog. She's had him for 10 years. His name is Puffers. And he's the best. He, so, uh, he has like a goofy personality like our dog. Yeah, he's so sweet though. Um, but we did post on stories that I think it was like our second day there. We um, took him for a walk with our mom. And we just weren't, we were like chatting, not really paying attention. And he rolled in what we assumed to be deer poop. Because it did not, it was not mud. I know, it thought it was mud so at first, bad. but we couldn't see mud anywhere. Like there was yeah. no And I don't think puddle. it had rain. Yeah. So I, then we quickly were like, oh my God, I think it's poop. And then we it realized it was so deer bad. Poop. Um, and so we gave him a bath with clean coats, which is so funny. Like we're like, he just wanted to use his sister's shampoo. Yeah. And it's funny because our mom obviously bought it to support us, but she doesn't usually bathe him. Yeah. Like he goes to the groomer to get bathed. Because he has like very coarse kind of weird hair. Yeah. He's a poodle mix. So she brushes him every day. Like he has that type of hair that's like just, yeah, like Carly said, really coarse and like curly. Um, so yeah, she doesn't really bathe him at home, and so it, he was such a good boy though. Yeah, he, he was. He let us bathe him even though you could tell he wasn't enjoying it. Our dog is like our chaos in the bathtub. He wasn't like that. He's a really good boy. He was really resisting, but then he's like, okay, okay. Yeah, but we just thought that was super ironic that we come to town and end up having to bathe our baby brother. Mm -hmm. We also have a really close group of friends. I think we talked about it on here. Um, we're all like sisters. We're very lucky to have them. And so most of us were there on this trip because most of them still live in Green Bay. Um, and then our best friend drove from Indiana. So most of our group was there and we went on a like, uh, it's like a boat that you pedal. I Would you describe it as like kind of like a pontoon boat? No, because I was going to say that and then I was like, but it's really nothing like a pontoon boat. But like it, lo it looks like a pontoon boat, don't you think? Well, pontoon boats are like flatter, aren't they? I guess it is flat. That's We've true. never been on a pontoon boat, so yes, I guess I don't know what I'm saying. We have. I've never been on one. Um, but it's, yeah, I guess kind of like a pontoon boat and then you're supposed to like pedal and you can like drink on it and whatnot. Um, 
but it was really fun. We did the Peddler last year, which was like the bicycle version, and that one you actually had to pedal to like steer the, <laughs> the thing forward. <laughs> to make it go. Um, and it was really hot. Again, we went around the same time last year, and it was really fun. Like we were all laughing. You can like play your own music. But it was a lot of work, and this year on the boat, like, you didn't have to actually pedal. Like, some of yeah. our friends were doing it, but you didn't actually have to do it. They kind of just, like, put it in motion, and so we much preferred the boat. It was really fun. It was so fun, and yeah, I think the reason I liked that you didn't have to paddle, aside from, like, the physical activity aspect, was because you're sitting in, like, rows, like, across from each other, mm -hmm. basically, like, around a table, but if you want to like go chat with someone that's like on the other side, you can get up and like go talk to them. Whereas when we were on the peddler, like you couldn't just get up. Like you were kind of just like oh, that's stuck. That's so true. Yeah. Yeah. So you couldn't really chat with everyone. So I liked that aspect of the paddler. I mean, I preferred it way more. But typically we get really sick on boats, so we have these prescription patches that our doctors will like. They are lifesavers. Right what is it called again? It's like scope scolopamine transdermal Trans patch. Yeah. But they do make your mouth so dry and this continued for like a day. <laughs> like a full 24 hours. Not like a day. I need like, like a sip of water just thinking about it. Yeah. Which I guess ended up being I think pretty good because um we were like we went through like three cases of water in like three days yeah because we were so thirsty but i felt like it helped because we got on the airplane then and you know you lose so much water on an airplane yeah that's true so it was good that we like doubled up on water mm -hmm. but yeah that's the only side effect and honestly it's way better than feeling nauseous oh my gosh if you've ever been sick on a boat you it's really understand it's like the that's worst right. thing yeah like because you, you're also trapped like you won't feel better until you get off the boat mm -hmm. it's not like a car where you can pull over if you're like really yeah. unwell another fun thing we did which i think we posted about this place um well we were there but our dad used to manage a shoe store. We've mentioned this. He mentioned he managed two. It was called The Heel um, in Green Bay and in Appleton. And we used to like go to work with him a lot. And we just have like so many positive memories of him mm -hmm. running the shoes, managing the shoe store. I would say it's like a leather goods. Yeah, it's shoe not store. like a typical shoe store. It was like yeah, like really like Birkenstocks, nice and, like, shoes. Nice yeah, shoes. they would sell like other leather goods too. Like I think they even had like bags and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, mostly Birkenstock. That's where we got our love from Birken for Birkenstocks. Um, and it's still around, but they moved. So the Green Bay location, they moved like a while ago. Um, and the building that this store was in was like a really old building downtown. It's just stunning. And it overwent like a renovation, to, I want to say like two years ago. Yeah, that's And then right. someone bought it and turned it into a restaurant. And it's actually like a live... It's like a apartment up top, and then the below space could have been like a store or but only one apartment. It's yeah, not one like apartment. Several, yeah, could have been a um, store or a restaurant. But the um, the man that actually owned the shoe store our dad managed did live above it, and mm -hmm. it's like a really cute apartment. Yeah. Um. So anyway, someone bought it and turned it into like a what would you describe it? I think they said it was like soul food. But like healthy, yeah. I guess, uh, yeah. I we never been in New Orleans, yeah. But I think that it gave those vibes, like yeah. lots of seafood, yeah. So and yeah, they turned into a restaurant anyway. So we went with our mom, and um, it was very nostalgic for all of us to be in that building. Yeah. I mean, we were really young, and we actually, for some reason, have more memories of the other location. I think he was there, the other one more. Yeah, or he took us to the other location more. Yeah. Um, but um, it was just so nostalgic for all of us. I don't know if you've ever like been to a place in your childhood and you can just like feel it in your bones like that it was like special to you. Um, but they did such a good job. Everything was so beautiful. It's like still the original hardwood floors. Um, the ceiling like the small like original, planks if you've ever seen like a small planked wood yeah, floor. Yeah, they kept all the same original like molding which is just stunning and they painted it all blue and the blue actually matches our clean coats blue like yeah. perfectly. Um, so it was just beautiful, but yeah, the food ended up being like delicious. So good. We got the, we do eat fish, but it's not like our favorite thing. Mm -hmm. So we got the fried green tomato sandwich, which was like a hoagie roll mm -hmm. with fried green tomatoes, pimento cheese, mm -hmm. 
um, lettuce or like greens of some sort. Yeah. Avocado? Was there avocado? I don't know. There was pickles, right? I think there was and pickles. pickles. It was delicious. It was so good. And then we split the Caesar salad as well. And then we got the little cinnamon sugar donuts. They were the best thing. They were so good. What did they just call them? They called them like little donuts or something. Yeah, like little D's. Yeah, something they were like so delicious. And they had like a biscuit on the menu too but that now I'm kicking myself for not getting. I know. The donuts were so good. We also got the cold brew latte and that was delicious. Oh, yeah, I know it was We're really like talking good. about this food, like you'll probably never go to Green Bay, but if you mm -hmm. do, definitely go there because it was great. Well, it was just like a nice experience. Yeah. By the way, I forget how good this is. The Alme uh, blush in, the Healthy Hue blush in, what shade is this again? Something nearly neutral. nude yeah yeah it's so pretty it's got like a light sheen it's a good like spring summer nude um so yeah that was great and then another favorite place that we go to there is um Kavarna, which is like a coffee house that well, it was, we haven't been in a long time in a long time i don't know why. and we love like downtown areas like anytime we're even personally traveling like we always opt to go to like the downtown area mm -hmm. i just find that's where you can find most of like the historic buildings most of like the good restaurants or like yeah. I don't know, like more well-known restaurants, I guess I should say. Um, and so that's usually like what we opt for when we travel and even in our hometown because we love old buildings and this coffee shop is also in a really old building with like mm -hmm. yellow tile and we didn't realize it was all vegetarian. Yeah, we had, um, it had been around since we were in high school, but we didn't like frequent it in high school, but we went once in a while. And it was yeah, so we good. would get like the baked goods and coffee, but never really to eat. Yeah, the food was really good. Um, yeah, it was delicious. And yeah, back to the downtown thing. Like, obviously, we are from Green Bay, so they have the Packers. And I yeah. feel like the area that's by the stadium, by Lambeau Field, has really been, like, blown up. There's, like, so many new buildings. Yeah. Like, really beautiful hotels and apartments and, like, restaurants. And I feel like a lot of people would, like, think that that's, like, the trending area. Yeah, and that's fine. I, I, I mm -hmm. guess people that come to Green Bay are probably there for a Packer game. Yeah, so, but we love the downtown area. Yeah, so we recommend going downtown if you want to eat at, like, more of, like, a cafe. But otherwise, you can stay by Town, and there's, like, really yeah. touristy things. And, like, I'm sure no one will go there, but we're just... Yeah. We're just saying that on our trip. There could be some football great. fans. We don't know. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm excited because I've talked about how much I like the Beauty Pie um, eyeshadow formula before, but that I never really find a quad of theirs that I like the colors together. So I'll just end up like pulling one out to use like one or two colors. But I swatched this yesterday and it's the Patty DeBroff Deluxe Eyeshadow Quad in 001. And I actually love these three shades. I'm going to use them today. This one's a little too glittery for me. But the other three I really like, and I like have never experienced that with their um, palettes. Like the rose one I bought, I really like the rose gold, but I was like, oh, like, then I'm just gonna keep it for one shade. But um, I don't know, I don't have any brow pencil left. You can use mine. Okay. I actually ordered a new one, so thank God. Hopefully it's here today. Um, what else do we do on the trip? We, one of my favorite things we did um, was one of our last days in town, we met like our girlfriends for coffee oh, yeah. before um, a couple of them like had to go to work and that was just really nice. Yeah, we actually went to, this is actually a good tip. If you are going to Green Bay, there's a new, newer hotel, it's only a few years old. Um, one of our best friends works in the spa there, it's called Lodge Kohler and it's probably like the nicest hotel in Green Bay. Yeah. It is a really nice hotel. And we m met them there. There's a little like coffee shop. It's literally right across from the stadium, which is really cool. And it was, uh, there was like people working and there's like big communal tables. And it seemed like there was free Wi-Fi. So it seemed like a good place to work. Like we were saying, if we went longer next year, um, it would be a good place that we could work from. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was just really nice to meet them like before work and it made me think like oh this would be really nice to do all the time <laughs> yeah another thing we did when we were there uh, we love tv and our, so does our mom you guys know this um and we introduced her to Shit's creek because we knew she would like it yeah and she loved it she thinks it's like the fold in the cheese scene she made us put it on youtube like at least five times yeah she's like show me the cheese scene again 
and you guys know the one. Yeah, it just made me laugh because that show really is so good. We'll refresh your memory if you don't, but the one where Moira and David are making enchiladas, and it's Moira's family recipe, but she like seemingly doesn't know how to make these enchiladas. And she's telling David, like, the next step, it says to fold in the cheese. And he's like, well, what does that mean? And she's like, fold it in. And then she's like, <laughs> my favorite part is, yeah. and she goes, oh, David, I can't tell you how to do everything. And then he's like, well, can you tell me how to do one thing? And it's so funny. This is your recipe. Yeah. And then uh, he's like, um... You're handing me broken cheese. Like, what am I doing with broken cheese? It really is one of the best scenes on TV ever. Like, one of the funniest, most well-written. Comedic timing is impeccable. It's probably my favorite from that show, but I also love a little bit of Lexus. Yeah, me too. But Fold in the Cheese is my favorite from the show. It's mm -hmm. so good. Um, so we watched that. Just lots of, like, family and friends time. Um... But the week did feel really long. Like, I felt like when we got back, it felt like we'd been gone for a while. Yeah, it really did. Oh, we went to Dark County, too, which is oh, yeah. a good thing to mention. Um, if you ever go to Wisconsin, you should go to Dark County. It's beautiful. It's like, we heard rumors in the past that Harrison Ford had a home there. I don't know if that's true. But it's beautiful. It's on, like, the peninsula um, of Wisconsin. Like, you know, like the... Lake Michigan? The thumbs. Yeah, it's Lake Michigan. Um... And it's just, like, kind of like these little, like, summer towns. Like, there's nothing to do in the winter. But everything opens up in the summer. It's Fish Creek, um, Sturgeon Bay, and... Bailey's Harbor. Bailey's Harbor. Yeah, I feel like I'm forgetting one. Um, but you just, like, keep driving on this freeway, and you'll see all the little towns. And it's just... We have been we went there when we were younger so often. We would, like, bike ride. Right. And then um, we had this, like, frozen custard place that we loved, which is called Not Left Yet. We have so many memories it's there. It's still there. It's still there. Um, Shipwrecked was our favorite restaurant to eat at growing up with our parents. Yeah. And that's still there, too. Um, but this time we ate at Wild Tomato, which is, like, a trendier, like, pizza, Stonefire Pizza place. And it was really good. I think we're just so spoiled. Like, for Wisconsin, it's, I think it's some of the best pizza I've had. Yeah. But, like, for here, I know, but... Um, yeah, we're there for sure. Yeah, it's just really beautiful and nice to see. Um, and then, yeah, it's so pretty there. Like, it's just really stunning. Yeah, it's it nice. never gets old. And we were blessed with really good weather. We were worried mm -hmm. about the rain. And it never got, like, too humid until, like, the last day, I would say. Yeah, which was amazing. And we were blessed with, like, pretty good travel days. Like, nothing crazy happened. Yeah, I mean, it was really good. I feel like in the past, like, little things go wrong. Or the lines are long, but everything was like smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. And we had our layover was in Chicago, both on the way there and on the way back. And it was only like an hour, which was really nice. Like it just gave us enough time to basically like get to our gate, have a quick snack, and then board. So we were just like twiddling our thumbs all day. Yeah. Oh, and we should talk about Turo. Oh yeah. Um, this palette is so pretty. It's the Sydney Grace Summer. Summer Days palette. These metallics are crazy metallic. This palette is really pretty too. I'm just like, I always laugh because I love cool toned browns, but then it's like, this is like the same as my Lisa palette and my um, Dior palette, like the color scheme, but that's yeah. okay. Um, I might put a little bit of this camping shade on my lid too, but so we always rent a car when we go back uh, just so that we can get around, like see all of our friends and family easily. Um, and I don't know if you guys know this, but during the pandemic, like, since no one was traveling, a lot of car rental places sold off their fleets, and then when the pan, like, people have started traveling again, all these places had to buy new cars, and they were way more expensive than they had been, so to make up for, like, the cost of the new cars, they had to upcharge, like, the customers, and so I, I think it was also because their supply and demand, like, there wasn't demand, so they got rid of the supply, and then when the demand came back, the supply had shrunk, so then they raised the prices. Yeah, that's that. true, too. Sorry, I had to get some wipes and stuff. Um, so anyway, like, the past two years that we rented a car, especially two years ago, I think it was, like, $700 for, like, four or five days. It was and crazy. Our car was, like, a smart car. 
It was so small. It was basically made for just it the two of laughable. us. laughable. Laughable. Um, and then last year it was like a little better. What did we even rent last year? I don't remember what car it was. I don't remember either actually. But I remember I, it drove well. I just don't remember yeah, what it Yeah, it definitely was. drove well. It was like a newer car. But that's because we got it from Chicago, so it was yes. a little bit cheaper. Yeah, it's a little bit cheaper because there's more car options mm -hmm. in Chicago. And the pick up and drop off there is so easy. If you're flying into mm -hmm. there ever, highly recommend renting a car. Um, but this year we decided to fly into Green Bay and do like the layover in Chicago because we didn't want to deal with the weather if it were going to thunder. And then ironically it didn't, but that's okay. Yeah, ironically it didn't. Um, so we were looking, uh, we usually use Hotwire, but Enterprise is our favorite to rent from, but we'll usually do what's ever the cheapest. Um, and we were looking at Hotwire and for a compact car for the week, it was going to be like $600. And you guys know we're self-employed right now. We're like, that's a lot. Um, so then we looked on Turo, which is basically Airbnb, but for cars, like people rent out their cars on there and you can still pick it up at the airport. Some of them charge like an extra fee, like $30 to like pick mm -hmm. it up at your designated airport. Um, and some of them are free. So the one we did was a Prius. It was a 2015 Prius, but it worked fine. And our cars are older than that too. So we mm -hmm. don't care. Um, and it was free to pick up from the Green Bay Airport. And it was only $400 for the week. And you did have to return it to the gas that it was. But because it was a Prius, we spent $10 in gas. Mm -hmm. So it was, all in all, like a really great deal. A really great experience. Like she had one of those things, um, like a keypad that you type in to get the key out. That's just like over the passenger window. So it was pretty effortless, highly recommend. And now we're like, oh, we should do this whenever we have to rent a car. Yeah, we were talking to one of our friend's husbands too, because he was like, I should do this for my truck. Like it just sits here all day because he has mm -hmm. a work truck. And so he's like, my like normal truck is just sitting here all day while I'm at work. I should do that. I said, yeah, like I would do it if I had a nicer car, but our cars are old. Yeah, but we don't really use them very often. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're home a lot. Um, but so that's another thing. If you have a car that you don't really use, look about renting it out on Turo because it seems like a great idea. We really had such a great trip, but we're definitely happy to, happy to be back filming again, making content. Yeah. It feels like we haven't filmed in forever. I know. I feel like we might seem low energy, but we have been sleeping pretty well since we got back and the weather's been beautiful. We've just been playing catch up like yesterday, um, going to the grocery store, running errands, that type of thing. And then today we're filming some stuff and then we'll probably edit. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow is Friday. So it's our return day. Well, yeah. I know sometimes we do returns during the week. We try to, but I don't know why we default to going to the mall on Friday. And I've been trying to buy like flip flop sandals black brown i've ordered so many pairs they're either uncomfortable or they don't fit right so i've given up but i have to return two pairs to zara which is so funny and i got two boxes of things from the zara sale and i think i'm only keeping um two dresses which is great because i said i was going to be a dress person this summer and we got those dresses from marshall's i don't know if we talked about them oh, but yeah. we got summer dresses from marshall's that we really like haven't worn them yet. We brought them back to Wisconsin with us, but like didn't find a place to wear them. Um, and then I got, yeah, like one longer fringy dress from Zara and then like a shorter black one. That's kind of just like a timeless high neck, uh, tank cut. And I'm returning the rest, which is a bummer because I've got a bunch of cream jackets. I've been on the hunt for like a cropped cream color jacket. Cause I have like my black denim jacket that I wear often. I have like a normal denim jacket and then like my black uh, like faux leather blazer I wear a lot. But I don't have anything cream colored for like spring summer. And I ordered four from Zara and none of them worked. So yeah, it's still on the, the same as my flip flop saga. Yeah. I'm just done. I'm giving up. I don't want to give up, but I don't know where to look if you have any recommendations. And then just when I thought I was like in the clear, like, oh, the Zara sale happens twice a year. Like, 
then now Target's doing their circle. Oh, really? Circle days. Yeah, like from the 9th through the 13th, like a bunch of stuff is going to be on sale. Amazon Prime Day. I'm like, what's going on here? All these sales happening. I really need a duvet cover. If you guys have one you like. Well, get one on Prime Day. Yeah, let me know. I think it's on, what is it, the 9th? Okay. It's coming up, I'm pretty sure. They're all coming up. They're all happening at once, like I said. Um, I actually forgot lipstick out here. I don't know what I was doing. I forgot a bunch of stuff. I ordered the Victoria Beckham Gloss and Fizz after contemplating for so long. I got it from Burdorf Goodman because they do free shipping and or I think that's just it. They just do free shipping and I couldn't find anyone else that did free shipping on Victoria Beckham not like with a threshold. And I love this gloss formula and I have it in Apertivio. And I love that for like fall and winter, but I wanted one for summer and I wanted Fizz for a long time. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it. I'll wear it. And for some reason, it feels a little thinner than the other one I have. And the color online looks more of like a neutral, leaning kind of bright pink. But it's definitely like a neutral, cool pink in person. Um, almost leaning mauve, which I wasn't expecting, but um, I still really like it. So I'm keeping it and I think it's really pretty. But yeah, for some reason... I feel like the other shade I have, like it goes on pigmented and it stays just feeling a little thicker. This one for some reason I feel like feels a little thinner, but um, it's not a huge deal. It's still like super comfortable. This for me I love because it's not too shiny um, and it's not really sheer. Like you can actually see the pigmentation. I don't like it when glosses are just like a sheer wash of color. I like to see something. Okay, here are the finished looks. Some shout outs because I didn't really um, talk about them as we were going. But like I said, this All May, well, these are both affordable. The All May Nearly Nude Blush is just always going to be one of my favorites. Yeah, it's so good. It's a really beautiful baked formula. And then the Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in Medium. I had been using the shade Light during like the winter. And I do like that one because it's really, really like fair and I like the tone. But the Medium one just like almost contours look better and this formula is so good it's just like really pigmented and blends like a dream so these are two drugstore favorites of mine i think i do like that primer as like a highlighter i feel like you can yeah. see it a little bit underneath and then yeah i like this eyeshadow palette i just realized how similar it is to so many others that i have in my collection but that's okay and then yeah i love fizz i think it's really pretty and i'm glad i ended up getting it it's like a perfect gloss for spring and summer yeah Thank you guys so much for watching this get ready with me if you have any questions about the products we use please leave them down below and see you in the next one